This is Rohingya Vision News. Today is Friday, 21st March 2014. I am Sarah Ahmed. European Burma Network joins calls to postpone sentences. The European Burma Network has added its voice to a large and growing coalition of political, humanitarian and community organizations calling on Burma's government to postpone the country's national census that is set to start on March 13. We believe that carrying out the census at the current time will exacerbate the ethnic and religious tensions in the country. The European Burma Network said in a statement signed by 10 members, including the European Karen Network and Burma Campaign UK. The group acclaimed that the census which is being carried out by the Burma's government and the United Nations Population Fund was not just a technical exercise and failed to take into account the country's ethnic tensions. It is taking place in a country that has suffered from ethnic-related conflict for almost 70 years. The country is also affected by growing religious tensions, particularly targeting Muslims, which are being stalked by nationalist extremists, the group said. This week, a worldwide coalition of caring community-based organizations sent a letter to the United Nations Population Fund expressing deep concern regarding the census and urging it to be postponed, arguing that the census was being carried out without the cons consultation of ethnic minorities. Some of the Karen subgroups are found to be listed in other ethnic nationalities groups. Moreover, the Burmanized version of our Karen named Kayan is used without approval of our people. This goes against the UN's own recommendation that the ethnic groups will be allowed to self-identify, the letter said. The census is set to take place from March 30 until April 10, with first results expected to be available in the end of July and the final results available in 2015. The European Burma Network said that many people are concerned how the information that they provide will be used. The civilian population is deeply suspicious of the government and a significant proportion of the population is unwilling to divulge information which they fear the government may use against them. Burma's exclusion of the Rohingya on the census form was also criticized by the group, which they urge is discrimination. The failure to include Rohingya on the census form instead requiring them to register under other endorses the discriminatory approach by the government of Burma towards the Rohingya. The international community and the United Nations should not have accepted or supported a census that reinforces the discrimination. Burma's census has been criticized by a number of human rights groups. Executive Director of Fortify Rights Mr. Matthew Smith expressed similar concerns in a recent interview with Karen News stating that the voices of the ethnic minorities were not being heard in the census process.